Welcome back, it's me Lou, and I'm here for another action figure unboxing and review. And we are looking at this Marvel Avengers Mech Strike. And we have the Black Panther. So, as I've stated in previous videos, um, I believe this is loosely based off the Avengers Mech Strike comic book series, which is might have wrapped up already. Um, Lego, they've been toying around with some Avengers uh, mech suits. And this is now Hasbro's turn. Uh, so for some of the figures like Captain America and Iron Man and Thanos, they're actually getting, um, like, they'll come in these two packs with an actual mech suit armor. Um, the Hulk and the Panther, they don't have a mech suit yet. I'm hoping that they'll come out maybe in a later wave. But for now, Black Panther is just a solo figure, a uh, bubble on card. And here we go, we have them. So this figure is for children, ages 4 and up. Um, I love the package design. The illustration's awesome. I love this um, comic book, cartoon-inspired illustration of Black Panther. Uh, he, he, just by looking at this, you can tell he's already very stylized, uh, trying to fit into that whole Mech Strike theme. The figure is nicely placed in the bubble. Um, it's framed really cool with his Mech Strike shield. On the back, I've said this many times, it's lazy. There's nothing here except for a, you know, the illustration. It'd be cool if they gave you a small bio and even this photos of the other figures in the line. You know, you get, of course you see them here, but it'd be cool to see the actual uh, toys themselves. So let's take this guy out. Okay, um, as he sits here in his plastic tray, uh, first impressions. Okay, one, the figure is a lot taller than I expected. Um, he looked kind of squat in the packaging because the insert kind of covered his knees down. Um, so it looked, and with his, doesn't, I can't really tell right now, but it doesn't look like he has much of a neck. So when I looked at the figure, um, when it's still fully carded, it just looked squat. He looked... I don't know, like, something was off about him proportionately. But once I took him out, I'm like, man, he has pretty long legs. Um, he looks cool. Let's take this out. So we got a shield. And we have T'Challa, the Black Panther. Um, his head's a little loose-fitting. Kind of bobbles a little on the on the the ball joint, so already <laughs> I'm having problems with this. Um, okay, let's let's look at this carefully. Um, uh, I'm kind of torn with this figure right now. So one of the issues I had with the Mech Strike Hulk figure is that he looked. I had this here, All right, so he looks he looks decent. I'm not sold on the head. It looks really cartoony versus the Captain America from the same line where he has a much more realistic face sculpt. It almost looks like Ryan Gosling, the actor. Proportionately, this guy kind of has more cartoony proportions, um, really broad shoulders, but then he comes down with a really narrow waist. Um, the colors... The colors are cool. Now the colors, I get the colors. Um, he so he's wearing this. You know, he's wearing his trademark black outfit. But then he has these blue gauntlets and blue leg legging kind of deals. So it, it fits. Um, I don't. I get it fits the toy line because this is a toy line essentially, and it's colorful. Kids are gonna be drawn to this. <clears throat> But I'm just kind of torn on it. Part of me feels like they should have went for a little bit more subdued blue. But demographically, that might not be as appealing to a child. Um, but I, I might warm up to it. I'm not totally against it. it. For some reason, it reminds me more of like a Power Ranger than anything. Seeing this much blue on the figure and then the black. My first thoughts was looking from uh, the waist down. I'm like, this looks like a Power Ranger. But then, you know, once you go up... 
Maybe if they added some blue on his torso, I think that'd bounce it out better. Because he does have blue on his face. The sculpting's nice. Uh, nice crisp details. Um, his costume looks re really reminiscent of the MCU um, Black Panther. I love that they ha he has the sharp fingers. Um, yeah, it's great. I mean... It's everything I expect from a Black Panther figure. It's just maybe just falling a little bit short. I'm not sure if it's the, the, the color scheme or the, I don't know, the sculpting, but it's not bad. Um, but I was just blown away by the Captain America because Captain America, they, they, really went, they really went all out with this guy. Uh, the design is great. Almost looks like something that could fit into the, the Gamerverse or even the MCU. This, whereas these two figures, they feel very cartoony. But, I mean, it is based off a comic book series and the toy lines aimed at um, a much younger demographic than the older collector. I might have to fix this head later. Um, I'll probably boil it, soften the plastic, then throw the head in the freezer. And then um, that'll constrict the plastic and it'll tighten up. So hopefully I could get this back on and it be, won't be as loose fitting as this guy. Because this one's like twirling around. It's cool though. I'm kind of thinking maybe if they colored his necklace blue, it'd flow better. Because the color scheme I think is what is what's uh, fighting me right now. The, the blue doesn't bother me until I get to the torso. And uh, they could have done... Because I mean, even you, here's Iron Man. Even though um, paint application wise, it seems like this, the, the, the sheen of painted game, the game like the metallic gold. Maybe if they gave this guy a metallic blue, it would have worked better. It's all right. Um, I don't hate the figure. I'm not in love with it yet. Uh, it's just going to take me a while to get used to it. I love the sculpt, though. I think it's a... Like, if I saw a prototype shot of this and it's maybe it's like a all-gray figure, I think it'd be awesome. But the colors... It'll, it'll take me a while to warm up the colors. You know, even if they added blue in this center piece right there, I think it would tie into design aesthetically. But that, I don't think a kid's going to be th thinking that way. They just want to know if they could play with it. Which you could. And I love his shield design. His shield design is awesome. Uh, for example, here's Captain America's shield design. Now, I feel a little bit gypped. I'm not sh like, they went to so much work on this guy. He has a great mold, paint application on the shield. This guy has very minimal paint application. Uh, the sculpting is decent. But they could have done so much more with the shield, especially when you look at the box. On the box, his shield isn't this, like, plasticky looking silver it's almost like a light black or a dark gray and then they colored the eyes purple and the fangs and i think it would have helped so much with this figure uh yeah he, he feels short changed a little it seems like these two figures didn't see as much love in the design process as the iron man of the cap um but it's it's cool. I'm glad I have them. It's, it's it's I love the head. To be honest, the head the head is what really wins me over. Um, it 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 almost kind of it, it's weird. It almost looks like some sort of like iron, some weird amalgamation of Iron Man and Batman because he has the points on his on his head like Black Panther, but they're not they're situated more so towards the middle. And the shape of them, they more so point, point up, not off to the back or to the side, like how Panther does. So it just looks more like an Iron Batman. And there's part of it that also kind of reminds me of Optimus Prime. So the head sculpt, I think, is great. I actually love, I love the head a lot. If I looked at the figure from the chest up, it looks perfect. But then as I gradually go down and you're seeing all this blue, it's, it's like it could have, they could have done more here with the color. Um, I get it. He's called Black Panther, and most of his costume is black. But I think it could it could have it could have taken the figure up another point because it is a great figure. Um, the shield has really nice sculpted detail. I have nothing bad to say about the shield at all, other than it just needed need some color. A little bit of detail sculpted on the inside. Uh, I could put the shield on his back. Which is a cool look. It's almost very Captain America 
you know, wearing the shield on the back. Give him the shield on his forearm, which this looks cool. I could get behind this. Um, this is a great look on the figure. You know, he has a shield. He could, like, use it as a, as a defensive um, tool or even as a weapon with having the, the fangs in the front. He could, like, punch and gouge villains with it. So, yeah, with the shield, it for me, it really raises the, the, this figure. I mean, it really brings it up. Looks cool. I love the legs. The sculpting on the legs is great. I love this armor. Yeah, so for me, it's, it's, it seems like it just feels, feels a little bit... Sh they came up a little bit short with this. Um, the design's nice, but I think color-wise, it could have maybe done a second pass, and they could have thought it over. Uh, like, it bothers me that they gave this guy, like, the gold metallic paint... And they could have done that for this. Um, but it's a great Black Panther figure. For 9 bucks. I'd buy this guy again. I'd love to see him in black and red. I think that'd be a great color combination. Oh, I know what it reminds me of. These remind me of... Uh, which line of Power Rangers is it? He, this almost reminds me of a Psycho Ranger. I don't know if I have one on me. No, I don't. So, um... The psycho, the psycho Rangers. This, that's what he reminds me of. So, looking at it in that point of view, I, I probably rate this guy a lot higher, just because he reminds me of a Psycho Power Ranger. Uh, and there's some like glue on him. Ugh. All right. Since we're on the subject of Black Panther, I have some other Black Panther figures we could compare him to. All right. So this guy falls in the budget line. He's like nine bucks. The, you know, the Mech Strikes uh, Avenger toys are aimed towards kids ages four and up. Um, and as I always say, don't let it deter you as a collector from buying these. Um, they, they'll surprise you. Uh, like, I mean, look, in terms of articulation, this guy wins. Of all the Mech Strike figures, none of them could like go that crazy, I think. Cap doesn't go that crazy. Iron Man doesn't go that crazy. And the Hulk definitely cannot do this. So this, in terms of the articulation of the Mech Strike figures, this is Black Panther. He's going to be more agile. He could jump and spin and do all the things that he should be able to do and now that i'm looking at his armor and since it reminds me of a psycho power ranger um he's won me over yeah so that's all it took is for for me to realize that he looks like a psycho power ranger so th this is a budget nine dollar figure here's another budget um black panther figure now, I can't remember if this was from the dedicated Black Panther line or if they made an Infinity War or Endgame Black Panther. But this is a $9 Black Panther. The sculpting is beautiful. You get this really nice texture um, on his costume. Very minimal paint, uh, but it's, it seems like it's as accurate as you can get to the, sh the movie uh, with the, some silver. And this was, I was talking about the ears, why this one reminds me of a lot of Batman. So this Black Panther, the ears uh, are situated more towards the back of his head and they point back. Whereas this Black Panther, his ears are situated more in the middle and they point up, just like Batman. So if you wanted to, you could pull this head, slap it on a Batman figure, and you have some sort of crazy version of Batman. Or give this guy a cape, add some yellow, and paint the bat symbol on here, and this could easily be some crazy version of Batman. Like maybe an amalgamation of Black Panther and Batman. Um, now this is a budget figure, but even though it's nine dollars and the sculpting's beautiful, articulation-wise, this guy's like almost like five pointer. Um, with the, with the exception of being able to, you know, pull his arms out like this, and he has the elbow swivel and that and, and the bend. But he he has this. This is when you really feel gypped. You know, you go, you do this, but you get what you paid for. This is a budget guy, and he go, he kick out. Whereas this guy's cool. He kick out. And he got like super kick to the side. So these are two different versions of, of T'Challa, the Black Panther. These are the budget ones. And I think it's only fair to bring out a Marvel Legends. Uh, this is Marvel Legends Black Panther. And this is with the Chadwick Boseman head. Now, I'm not sure if I'm... If this is the right head that was supposed to go on it, because it looks like it's sitting a little too high on his neck, which make, gives him a really long neck. Uh, the late actor Chadwick Boseman—he's gonna be missed a lot. He really brought a lot to the role of Black Panther. 
his character was great. He had uh, he the character had a had a very calm serenity to him, but at the same time, when he needed to be, he could be very intense. Uh, so you know, we'll see how they move forward uh, without the actor. Uh, he'll be greatly missed. Um, yeah, yeah, I, I really enjoyed seeing him play Black Panther uh, for all the many movies that he did. And it was just really cool. And the Black Panther movie, God, I, I said I've, I've told my friends this before. It's like that thing could stand. If there was no MCU, if there was no Marvel Cinematic Universe, that movie could just stand by itself. You know, it, it didn't. Even if you weren't familiar with the rest of the you know, the Marvel comics or the superheroes, that was just a great movie altogether. They really put a lot of heart and soul into that movie. And I think it really set the bar uh, high for the. Marvel movies that came afterwards. Effects wise, it was great. The acting was brilliant. The action scenes were amazing. The set designs, this everything was great. So yeah, I, I like this figure a lot. Um, I'd like to think that maybe there's the possibility that um, that. That with the upcoming Black Panther movie, like, you know, since Chadwick Boseman's passed on, uh, God bless his soul, um, you know, what are they going to do for the sequel? I mean, they've already announced, I think, a date for the next movie. Which brings us to this. Um, here we have Eric Killmonger, uh, played by Michael B. Jordan. And there's a part of me that I'd love for them to bring back Michael B. Jordan in the movies. Now, he was the bad guy in the, in the you know, in the first Black Panther, but... The, the way they wrote him and the way they portrayed the character, you know, he had purpose. And uh, I think it'd be awesome if they found a way to bring him back. Like maybe the storyline wise is, um, you know, he might have passed on and died. But maybe they, maybe they found some way to like freeze him and suspend the animation before he fully passed. And maybe T'Challa thought that, you know, maybe one day the, kill, the air killmonger could be redeemed. And then, you know, they kept him on life support until... They, fig they could figure out how to fully bring him back. And then, you know, for me in my head, you know, this is like fan fiction, but you bring back Eric Killmonger in the second movie and he put you put him on the redemption path. Um, he, he comes back thinking, you know, why did T'Challa, like, spare my life and why did he give me a second chance? And then maybe he learns that T'Challa passed away and um, for him is his redemption story. It's him trying to rediscover why someone believed in him, in him and, you know, that maybe he could be redeemed and be a good guy. You know, he's such a great actor, and I think that'd be such a a great follow-up to the first movie. And also, in a, in a way, to, like, honor uh, Chadwick Boseman. I think there's... there's it's going to be interesting how they handle that second movie, for sure. But this is a great figure. Um, very posable. I like, actually like this. I actually like the um, Killmonger figure more than the Black Panther one, just because of the the paint application and the design of it. These are completely two different molds, also. So, yeah, look at that. That's badass. So yeah, this is my look at the Mech Strike Black Panther figure. Um, I highly recommend it. If you're a fan of Black Panther like I am, um, it's worth picking up. I had, you know, I mean, I had some, there's some shortcomings with the figure. Uh, it, it doesn't feel as well thought out as some, as like this guy. This guy seems really well thought out. But it's a, it's cool. It's nice that you'll be able to flesh out your set of Mech Strike Avenger Squad. And, you know, just pick them up. Send a message to Hasbro that you want more of this kind of stuff, because I definitely do. I know that a lot of collectors, um, they overlook the budget toys, but they're not bad. You know, give them, a give them a chance. It's like I said, for me, when I handle these, I feel more like a kid again than playing with the, the old, the newer stuff. Like, the newer stuff is great, but something about this just brings me back to my youth a little bit more. So, once again, my name is Lou. I appreciate you dropping by, and I hope to see you again soon. Have an excellent day.